Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Saturday, August the 12th, and today we celebrate Florence Nightingale. Here's the uh, commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. Florence Nightingale was born in Florence, Italy, May the 12th of 1820. She was trained as a nurse at Kaiserwerth and Paris and became superintendent of a hospital for invalid women in London. In response to God's call and animated by a spirit of service, in 1854, she volunteered for duty during the Crimean War and she recruited 38 nurses to join her. With them, she organized the first modern nursing service in the British field hospitals of Sektari and Balaclava. By imposing strict discipline and high standards of sanitation, she radically reduced the drastic death toll and rampant infection, then typical in field hospitals. She returned to England in 1856, and a fund of £50,000 was subscribed to enable her to form an institution for the training of nurses at St. Thomas Hospital and King's College Hospital. Her school at St. Thomas became significant in helping to elevate nursing into a profession, and she devoted many years to the question of army sanitary reform, to the improvement of nursing, and to public health in India. Her main work, Notes on Nursing, in 1859, went through many editions. An Anglican, she remained committed to a personal mystical religion, which sustained her through many years of poor health until her death in 1910. Until the end of her life, although her illness prevented her from leaving her home, she continued in frequent spiritual conversation with many prominent church leaders of the day including the local parish priest, who regularly brought communion to her. By the time of her death on August 13, 1910, her reputation as a healer and a holy person had assumed mythical proportions, and she is honored throughout the world as the founder of the modern profession of nursing. Let us pray. Life-giving God, you alone have power over life and death, over health and sickness. Give power, wisdom, and gentleness to those who follow the lead of Florence Nightingale, that they bearing with them your presence may not only heal but bless and shine as lanterns of hope in the darkest hours of pain and fear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.